This is how the modern arch of the so-called friendship of the peoples of Russia and Ukraine in the city Maklaev, located in the southern part of the country, looks like now. Before the arrival of the Russian world, the building of the regional administration was located here. Bias hit the building on March 29th at about 9 a.m. Locals remember the day with horror, although a month has passed. Serhi works as a security guard. On the day of the explosion, as usual, he was on duty on the ground floor. This is how it looked before. Until the explosion, there was an administration desk here. Turnstiles, one of them flew over there. Naturally, there is no desk anymore. There was a closet. Well, the three of us stood here. At the moment of the explosion, when it all hit us, we were standing right here. Everything went back at once, and we got knocked out. I was thrown to the stairs, and the guys to the area where this closet lies. Everything began to crumple. We covered ourselves with our hands. Then everything crumpled. We made a head count. Everyone was alive, and we went up to the second floor and looked at the massive destruction. Then all the dust settled, and we could see where to go. Some military men saw the trajectory of the rocket, how it went up and then down, exactly towards the governor's reception room on the second, on the fourth floor, exactly into the reception area right here. The missile destroyed the building from the first to the ninth floor. 36 people were killed. So he takes us to the third floor. Deputies used to work here, and if a meeting had been scheduled that day, there would have been many more victims. As you can see, all the window frames, they all lie inside the building. That is, when the rocket hit, a vacuum was created. All the frames were pulled in and all the glass went inside. And then a sound wave through the entire city center. Sir, he returned to work after treatment. He continues to protect what is left of the regional administration. We guard it because there are still many valuable things in the building. It is very hard to stand here because you remember what it once looked like and after everything that happened, now it's very sad. Everything is sad. The occupiers fired McLeod almost every day. They use all types of weapons, including banned cluster bombs. The Russian army struck the Mukulayev airport the same day it bombed the state administration. They wanted to capture it, but not to establish control over the city, but in order to go to Kyiv next. Their main task was to get to Kyiv, to go to Kyiv and on the bypass road. There are such geniuses among them, who for some reason decided that it was possible to march 500 kilometers through central Ukraine from the south to Kyiv. Genius guys. But the geniuses of Russian tactics did not take into account that Mikolaev covered the path to Kyiv from the south. Before the start of a full-scale invasion, there were about 50 military units in the region. Those bastards stood near that airplane, just shooting at civilian cars on the highway, and they got so fired up that they decided to land troops here in a completely cinematic way. Back then, they could still enter with two helicopters. They landed a landing group and all died right on this spot. After the landing of Russian troops, the battle began on the grounds of the airport. The Ukrainian army won, but after failing to capture Mykolaiv airport, the invaders decided to simply destroy it. And as they always do, if they cannot capture something, they simply destroy it, because they have a lot of flying metal. So they used it, it's a pity, but the Russians will rebuild the best airport for us. We know that. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Anastasia Zhuk, UATV News.